Hello, Chance. How's it going? Pretty good. How about yourself? Uh, not too bad. And just to get it out of the way, don't worry. I'm not here to pull anything. I'm not going to be doing any dumb shit. I'm not going to be trying to get you porn bombed or anything. I'm not I'm, I'm not here to do that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'd, I'd appreciate that. You know, it's not quite sure the laws of somebody like who hosts. Uh, well, well, like I, yeah, well, like I said, you know, and CIA even said this as well. And I do agree that there has been enough bloodshed on both sides. And it, it's time that all this shit stopped and we both moved on. Yeah. I, well, I include that in the title. I, I, I was watching your video and, you know, I think yeah. it makes very uh, salient points. Yeah. Um, and like I said, like all that I ask of you and your friends, William and N word boy is that you guys leave me alone and let me do what I was doing before all this ever began and let me live my life. You know, if I want to stream, I should be allowed to do that. If I want to work on music, I should be allowed to do that. And just, you know, overall, just let me live my life, you know, because yeah, like, so, you did, you did, you, so you, you did say something, uh, you know, yeah. like so you, you've gone to another platform and you made a point saying that it's not illegal to speak your truths. And I don't think that it is illegal to speak your truths. Right. And like, and like I said, you know, you know, and like I told you the last time before I left YouTube for good entirely, because mm -hmm. I'm not and I'm not aiming this at you. I'm just aiming this, you know, in general kind of thing. I'll be honest. YouTube's in a very fucked up situation. Like they're in a very bad place right now where they are allowing bad shit to go on on their platform. And like I said, I'm not aiming that at you. It's not just the stuff with you or with me or William. Like, it's there's other shit going on with other YouTubers as well. That's far well, that's, bigger. That, that, yeah, that's let's you know let's keep this to us because those issues frankly don't concern either one of us. Right, but like I was saying, like that's essentially why I left because you know they're not taking responsibility for what's going on on their platform and this and that. So I did essentially I was like, yo, like I'm I'm piecing out this shit. I don't need this. Like, and believe it or not, I'm not the only one that left. There's a lot of other YouTubers out there that have left as a result of all this garbage. Not oh, with yeah. us, so, not, not with us, but with their own garbage. But, yeah, let's let's keep this micro. Yeah, not, but, yeah, but so, like, like, I will say over the past, well, hang on, over the past few days, like you've talked far more about me than I've talked about you, right? Right, and and like I said, you know, like. The reason why I did that was because I was seeing like a lot of the stuff that was being said and it just, it didn't really sit right. So I was just like, okay, like if he's going to sit here and do this. But I've been doing anything over the past few days. Well, I've been seeing a lot of the conversations in the discords that, in the discord messages, I've been seeing a lot of that stuff. And like I said, I don't know if that's newer, older. Like, I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't care. But, like, for me, that was new. So I was like, okay, if he's going to sit there and say this, then I'm going to speak my truth about what I know to be true. Well, you know, so and, let's talk about that. Well, like, I, like I, just, I saw you made an allegation that I've killed a dog recently. The whole thing behind that was my friend said that you had stole their dog and which I don't know if that's true or not. You'll have to take that up with them. Like I said, I don't know. I'm just going off of what they told me. Mm. Um, and they said that the other day they like their neighbor that uh, went to go get their dog because they found out where it was at because they had it chipped. Uh, they went to go find it. They found it at a truck stop dead in the like out in the middle of nowhere, practically. And they're, they're aiming that at you, like and they and they did show me the screenshots of like the stuff that you were saying. Like I said, I don't know. Like the only the only reason why I did that was on their behalf because I saw the screenshots. I saw what was being said. And when I saw that, it was like, dude, like, that's not fucking cool. Like I said, I don't know if that's, like, really what's going on. You'll have to take that up with them. Mm -hmm. But I you're did. I did. That, you're, you're accusing me of something that I didn't do. 
Well, no, I'm not necessarily accusing you. I can only go off of what I saw. Well, I can I can only go off of what I've seen and heard. And when I saw the screenshots and I heard about what was going on, I kind of was like, okay, so this is actually a real thing, apparently. So let me speak out on it. So I wasn't what, I wasn't necessarily attack I wasn't necessarily attacking you. I was basically coming from the point of view of like, hey, this is what my friend showed me. This is these are the screenshots that I got. This is what they had, you know, they had sent me. So I can only go off of what they were sending me. I didn't have anything from your end or anybody else's end, so I couldn't really do anything except for defend my friend, you know. By accusing me of killing a dog, which I had nothing to do with. Come on, man. Well, That's like not- I said, like well, like I said, you'll have to take that up with them because they have the screenshots stating otherwise. I can't say whether you did or didn't. Like I cannot sit there and say whether you did or didn't. I was merely going off of what I was showed. That's all I was doing. Okay, so what is the evidence? Like, do you, do you have it handy? Like, I'm curious to see this. There were screenshots of basically you stating that you had taken the dog and you were using it to test drugs or whatever to make sure they were safe or some shit. Mm -hmm. And they were saying like they, because I did see the photo of you saying that you had adopted uh, a new dog or whatever. Oh yeah. So from what I understand, I was approached with an offer to buy a dog and I didn't know the backstory of the dog. Um, from dogs. question like all right so question who did you get the dog from well if this is going to be a criminal thing i'd rather not say well no it's not going to be a criminal thing like i'm not attacking you i'm just trying to find out like did they do you think maybe they could have stolen the dog and then approached you about it i think it's just as likely they bought it fair and square like how well do you know this woman pretty damn good like i've known her for about i'd say five six years now okay. so I know, I know her pretty well like and she's normally not one to lie to me she's really not and that's why i was like hey i didn't like i didn't know that you bought the dog i didn't know i'm just you know i'm just being told you know what i've been given but that aside all i ask as far as like you know the whole treaty and us you know laying off goes all i ask is that you and your friends, leave me alone and let me go about my business. You guys don't attack me. I don't attack you. That's all I ask. Okay. And, so, but, you know, conversely, you've, you've been continuing to attack me even when I've laid off of you for the past few days, right? Well, and I do apologize for that. Okay. So, like, my main bone of contention is, and I agree with you, actually, um, is – it's not illegal to speak our truths and you've been speaking your truths and I don't know. So like the, as you know, like the thing that really agitated me and kind of kicked this into overdrive was you asking for naked pictures of Jamie after she died. Right. Well, yeah. And like I said, you know, like I told you before I left the like before I left YouTube entirely, like I told you, whatever I did to set you off, I apologize for that. Okay. But also, there are a lot of people that will admit that you did. There were some things that you did go way too far with. Okay. Well, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that I haven't at times. I'm not going to say that I haven't at times. Point, but, um, point, point being, you know, like I said, you know, we both had our, we both done stupid shit. You know, we mm-hmm. both done fucked up shit. We both have said and done things that maybe shouldn't be said or done. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like there's been bloodshed on both sides. You know, we both like, like the whole fighting and starting shit and you attacking me, me firing back. Like it does nobody any good at all. At Mm -hmm. the end of the day, all it does is causes unnecessary drama. It causes bullshit. And it causes unnecessary, you know, garbage on both sides. I mean, look at what happened with you. And I'm not trying to throw this in your face. I'm just merely saying as a cause of, you know, what you did on your end, you know, your ex-girlfriend, Saren, ended up leaving you because you decided to choose. And I'm not saying this to attack you. I'm just saying this Uh in general. 
like you decided to be a dumbass and choose garbage drama over a relationship with somebody that actually gave a shit about you. Mm -hmm. On my yeah. on my on mm -hmm. my end, on my end, I ended up doing stupid shit and I ended up losing a lot of friends as a result of it. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, there's definitely been bloodshed on both sides, and it just it needs to stop. So, as I said, I've already talked with CIA about it. I've talked with several friends of mine, and they all do agree that you know what I'm proposing is actually a good idea, which is you know, you guys leave me alone, you know, you and William and Edward Boy and Jay and whoever else, you know, y'all are like, you know, basically, you know, you guys back off, you let me live my life, you know, don't be going in and like false reporting me and doing this and doing that or any of that stuff. Oh, you know? so I, I can't stop anyone else from, from. Well, you can at least, but that's the thing though. You have, believe it or not, dude, you have more power over those two than you even realize because they follow you, man. They follow your lead. They go off of what you say. I have noticed that. That is something that I've noticed. They go off of what you say. Well, let's hope this goes well then. And as I said, like, the, I'm not trying to make this like super long or anything. But all I am, listen, you, don't, you basically don't have time for this. All I am asking is that you, you can't be bothered. Listen, I'm not here to dick around, I'm here to get shit done. Okay, well, then let's 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 get things done. So, as um, I said, all well, I ask is that you and your friends back off and leave me alone, you don't attack me. I won't attack you. Well, so again, I don't have, I, you know, uh, if you're asking me to. Is there, is there anything that you want to add in on your end? Well, um, yeah. So like, as far as um, like each of our truths, um, you know, to say that I've attempted to murder you is, is not the truth. You know, I don't, for one, I think there is no bullet. You know what I mean? Like you. Well, let me, well, let me ask you this. Yeah, and this, this is just me speaking from an outsider's mindset because I have been asked this a lot, and a lot of people have asked this: how do how do I know that it wasn't you? Well, so like where I, where's the proof proving that there that it wasn't you when there's actually a lot of evidence pointing towards you? It's actually in your mattress right now. Fair point. Like it's either there or it's not there, right? And I don't, I know that it's not there. It was a, it was a rat trap. Then if it was a rat, all right. Let me ask you this: Then if it was a rat trap, then why are there photos of the like? Why are the photos of the the mattress and the thing that I, you know, the windowsill? Like why do those state otherwise? Because if it was a rat trap, the a rat trap's not going to make a hole like that. Can we see the right. window? The window, dude. You've seen the photos. Yeah, those, I was very unconvinced. Well, like I said, those photos are one hundred and ten percent legitimate. Those were literally taken the day after I saw the video. Once I saw the video, and my friend told me that you know I was shot at, I went back. I watched the footage. I pulled the mattress out, and that's when I took the photos. So those are a hundred percent real. Those are legit. Yeah, I saw like some paint chipping. Like there was no like splintering of wood. It was just kind of like oh, there there was splintering of wood, but it was on the outside because we had a wood windowsill piece on the outside, and it dug into the wood and it shot through the windowsill. So there was wood chipping, but it was on the outside. But when if it was able to come in and pierce your mattress, wouldn't it have came in through the inside? Hmm. What happened was whoever shot the whoever shot whatever it was when for the sake of argument, let's just say that it was a bullet. Yeah. Yeah. So just for just for the sake of you know whatever. When you fire a bullet, if what's going to happen is this say you like you know, take the angle, the trajectory, whatever. Yeah. Say say you're on my neighbor's roof over here and you fire into my window and you're aiming for the mattress, and you see where it's at, you got your target lined up, that bullet is going to dig in a little bit into the wood probably, which it did, 
and it's going to blast through that windowsill and whatever's in the way it's just going to plow right through and unfortunately the windowsill and the mattress were in the way of that thing hence why the holes were there but yeah the trumpet murder is a pretty serious allegation right and um so I would well, say I mean, that well, I mean, yeah. well, I mean, you, well, I mean yeah. the reason why I did bring that up is because you have spoken about it a few times before that in the past. And there were people that were talking about doing that. So, I mean, is, is, you have to really think, is it really that far of a stretch to really think that when you're seeing people talking about it and people are saying that you're talking about it? Is that really that far of a stretch to think that? Well, I mean, I would say that the proof would be in the pudding, and it's only if the damage is only on the outside, and it didn't pierce through to the inside, right? Oh no! Like I said, it did pierce into the mattress, but, but there's no damage on the like there wasn't like wood splintering. Like if a, a bullet fired, it's a pretty fast projectile. Well, well, like I said, you know. Like I said, dude, I'm just I've I've stated my piece. Right. What, but like, so like in order, if there's any truths about you that you want to clear up with me, I'd be happy to go over it as well. Um, and as you said, it's not illegal to speak our truths. And right. And and like I said, all I ask and all I've ever asked is that you and your friends leave me alone. That's all I've ever asked. And like I said, I understand that I've done a lot of messed up shit. Hey, well, but, I'm. A I'm willing, but, to, I'm willing to do that, but I, but, I also, you, but you also have to understand this: a lot of the reasons why I did what I did were as a result of how. And I'm not saying this to attack you. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying this, like this is the legit reality of it. You and your friends pushed me to those points by doing the stuff that you guys did. Like what specifically? Mm -hmm. Like the way that you guys kept on attacking me over and over and over and basically trying to turn my friends against me and doing this and doing that. All of that stuff that y'all did, that's what led me up to acting the way that I did. It's not like, that I wanted it's, like it's not that I wanted to, you know, do that stuff, but it's like you know, Nick, listen. I'm here to make a peace treaty, man. As am I. So, like, we, we don't we don't need to go into specific details about what each other did. The whole world already knows what we did. Me and you and I, me, me and you know what we both did on both sides. Like well, you and I, you and I both did. Right. We don't need to be going into specifics. I'm here to conduct business. There doesn't need to be any specifics about what each other did and this and that and the other. You mm -hmm. have like you know you have your side of things. I have my side. And, you know, like I said, I respect your side just like I know that you respect my side. But well, all, so I, all, I I ask, all, I, all I ask, all I ask, all I ask. The bullet thing. Listen, think, listen, yeah. let's, let's forget about that. You're getting off topic here. All I ask, all I, all I ask, all I ask, all I ask is that you and your friends leave me alone. That's all I ask. And to show good faith. I will take down that post to show good faith. I am more than willing to take down that post off my Twitter. I have no problem with that whatsoever. And anything bad I have said about you, I have zero issue getting rid of. I have no issue with that whatsoever. Matter of fact, I mean, I would say that I would take down the videos on my YouTube channel, but my main one I think is gone. And then the one that I had the other day before I left, I deleted that one myself. So there's no videos up anymore, but I am willing to, you know, take down this post in good faith. But in return, I need to have your word that you will, because you can do it. I need to have your word that you will do what you can to make sure that William and Edward boy do not come after me. That is all I ask of you in return for me taking down that post and me leaving you alone is well, that so you yeah, make before you, before you take it down um you know because I, I do want to have like a mutual understanding here uh -huh. um like falsely accusing someone of murder is like a pretty big thing right once you agree and, and again and again i do apologize for that like i said okay um so as far as like this this i'm just, 
This, this might take longer than than. When uh, do you, when? Come on, dude. Like what? What, well, well, what do you have, like? What is your schedule like today? Like you would think that like settling this. Well, like I said, Nick, I gave you my outlook. I gave you my conditions. All I need is your word that you'll do what you can in order to make sure that they leave me alone in return for me taking down that post. That's all I ask of you. Don't you think that like spending, you know, an early no. afternoon is, is worth squashing seven years? Nick, I came here to conduct business. Right. And I, like like you, I'm a business guy. I don't play around. I'm sure. not here to I'm not here to discuss specifics and this and that and the other. That's what business is done though. No, that's not how it's done. When it comes to getting a peace treaty done, you and I both know that there's been wrongdoings on both sides. You and I both know that. We don't need to go into details at all whatsoever. I came here to discuss the details of the treaty. All I ask of you for this treaty, in order for this to work, is that not only am I going to show good faith by taking down that post, but all I ask in return of you is to do the best that you can to make sure that William and Edward Boy leave me alone. That is all I ask. Well, so I understand that, like you're. So, so what? What? What is it that, you, in return for me doing that and taking down the post? Because, like, I obviously stated what it is that you know I would like to see you do. What right. is it that? What is it that you would like to see me do? I would like to be absolved of your false accusations. And you are, as of right now. Well, the, so, the, the, well, minute that, the minute that I apologize to listen, yeah. the minute that I apologize to you, you were freed of all that stuff. Like I said, I do apologize for the wrong things that I said, but you also have to understand that the reason why I did those things were a result of how you had treated me over the years. Cause I, cause I'm not gonna lie, the way you treated me was pretty shitty, and even even your ex girlfriend Saren said that herself as well. Like you have treated a lot of people like shit, and you have burned a lot of bridges. I don't know you about might, that. I don't know about like, that. I mean, you might not have meant to burn a lot of those bridges, but in all reality, you did burn a lot of bridges with a lot of people. You, well, you thankfully, just not, thankfully, we've been able to repair those bridges. Well, like I said, not all the bridges are repaired. Speaking of Saren, do you remember when you threatened to like attack her kids? We're not getting into that, Nick. Well, this we're, is we're, we're, we're here to discuss what it is that we both want to see come of this. As I said, I've already stated my piece and what I want out of it. You've already stated one one of the things that you want out of it, what is one more thing that you would like to see out of it? What is would, one more what is one more thing that you want to add to it? I would like to know that you're actually serious about this and that you're willing to I, um, I actually I actually am. As I said, I'm ser like I'm serious as a heart attack, dude. I left YouTube not only because was I not only was I tired of the garbage, but you know, obviously, you know, obviously, you know, through my mom, you know, and medical wise, like what I'm dealing with, I'm trying to get that healed up. I'm trying to, you know, go back to the way that I was before all this started. I am serious about this. And I know it might not seem like it, but I don't want to be spending three, four hours, you know, talking about something that we can solve in literally less than 10 minutes. But it's been seven years, though. It don't matter. CIA is trying to get the stuff done and set up. Like he's, yeah, he's, he's, literally, he's literally right now trying to get it done. And in order for that to work, I need to know what it is that you want of me. Because as I told you in that video, you guys leave me alone. I won't attack you guys. Well, what I would like is peace. Okay. But in order to get there, I think there needs to be a con. And I'm willing to take accountability for the things that I've done to you. Right or wrong, I'm, I'm more than happy to go over everything. And chance, remember, this has been seven years here. We can't. This isn't just wow. a snap of the fingers. Well, you know, for both. for me, for me, it kind of is a snap of the fingers kind of thing. 
Because okay. CIA, because CIA takes this serious, he wants this stuff dealt with. He wants it done and over with. Because like, and I'm not, I'm not trying to rush it, but you have to understand, like he's working and he's in the middle of work while trying to get this done. And I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to take up too much of his time when he could be working. You know, like you got to think about that. It's not just me on the line here it's cia and his job that i'm thinking about in this regard because mm -hmm. i don't want him to have to sit there and take time out of work to write all this up and do this and like well, that so would he's, he's put us in a position i think where where we can succeed and reach resolution and but as I, I you know like I, to be honest i don't know uh what more ca can do like the balls in our court here you can't just you know, expect him to do everything for you. It's, it's up to us. Right. And as I said, I do take accountability for the fucked up shit that I've done, just like you do. And I've said this a million times. I do mm. take accountability for the fucked up shit that I've done, right or wrong. Was a lot of it messed up? Yes. But at the same time, you also have to understand. And I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying that you were raised wrong. I'm not, you know, blaming you or your parents. But you have to understand oh. that the way that I was raised mm -hmm. is like, I was raised very old school. You have to understand that I was raised very, very, very old school. All right. So like, if you attack me, well, so yeah, as far as parenting goes, let's take a look at, well, listen, stop. Listen, listen, listen. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to get into all that. Nick, I'm not trying to, Nick, stop, dude. I'm not trying to get into all that, man. Let's take a look. At what's I'm, I'm, right? I'm, stop, Nick. I'm not trying to get into all you that. Shit, dude. You just brought it up. Listen, I'm not trying to get into all that. That wasn't my point to try to bring all that up. No, I'm, I'm, I'm simply, well, I'm not trying to take it that route. And and that's that's one thing that you do need to work on is you need to stop taking things mm -hmm. at like you need to like when it comes to stuff like what I said just then, you need to stop taking that at face value because there are different meanings for different things. Like you never know what yeah. someone's getting at. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I don't take everything that you say at face value. Like, there's a lot of things that you say so, that might be. Well, let, me, let, me, let me respond, like, in a way, in the way they're talking with me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, a rapist and a gay man. And she's Nick, probably trying her best with you. Nick, she's listen. Her best with you. Listen, Nick. Yeah. I'm not here to get, you know, into all that shit. Because you and I both know that I'm not that. You and I both know that. I was talking about your dad. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that 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 is fair. Yeah. Which is why, which is why I don't speak to him. And a lot right. of people think that I do, but I have nothing to do with them. And there was like, the whole Bond Billy thing, but well, like that, your, your grandmother's fault, right? You see how you see how this works, Chance? Like you say things. Listen, like, Nick. Listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen. That whole thing was between me and him when we were young kids. Yeah. Like, we don't need to be bringing that shit up. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, I said a lot of bad shit. You said a lot of bad shit. Mm -hmm. And people ended up getting hurt as a result. Mm -hmm. You know, and not, not just physically, but, you know, and not, like I said, I'm not trying to pour salt on a wound here. I'm not. But what I am saying is this. You know, you lost your girlfriend. I lost. Well, we're back, well, we are, but we are back together. Just so you know, so that's okay. That's really well. Well, but point being, you know, like during that time period, yeah. you ended up losing her. I ended up losing friends and family members. Yeah, it's time for this shit to stop. Now, like I said, I've stayed in my peace. Is there anything that you would? Yeah, is, well, is, there, think, is there? Is there? Hang on, stop yeah, and listen. Sure. Is there yeah. anything that you would like me to fill CIA in on? Because I do need to get back to him. He just DM'd me. Is there anything that you want me to tell him? Um, well, I would tell him that I would like to thank him for putting us in a position to succeed. Um, and that since you can't be bothered with actually hashing things out, that it was a failure. And I feel silly. Nick, Nick yeah. it was not a failure. But you it has. Said, no, it has not. It has not been a failure, Nick. It's only a failure if you deem it so. See, just, just because it's not taking an hour to two hours to hash things out, it don't take two hours to hash things out, dude. A seven-year war? Yeah, it does. It actually no, does. It, no, it, no, it does not, dude. 
I uh, said my I said my apologies and I meant them. So question question is, are you serious about this or not? Because if you're no, not, I am. I'm not serious. Okay. So now, now you, let's let's no now shut the fuck up and listen. Oh, excuse All me. All right. Language. Is there anything that you want to have put in? Like, is there anything that you would like me to do as far as the as far as it goes? Hello, Mr. Hole. Hey, I just want to add something real quick because I'm only listening to a little bit of this here and there. But if I'm going to be expected to, you know, kind of draft up and, and draw up this agreement that you guys are in good faith both going to sign off on. I think it needs to be clearly defined, you know, one column chance expects this to happen. Another column, Marty expects this to happen. Yeah. You both mutually agree to each uh, party's set of demands. We execute the agreement and we go back to living our lives. I mean, exactly. And, that, and that's, that's, that's exact. That right there is exactly what I was trying to get at. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so, so I think you. I think you guys need to. I mean, I, I I'd like for to just snap my fingers and make this happen, but right. I think you. I think you guys got to just kind of hash out the bullet points, and uh, make them clear and concise. Because to be honest with you, I don't. I, I really don't want to sit and listen to a, a, a nine hour stream and try to pick and choose, and then have you guys go back and forth with revisions right. and all this kind of shit. So, yeah, just get well, it. I would down. say, yeah, I would say, like, I want to thank you for putting us in a position to make this work. Um, hey, I, I just, I, I just want, yeah, we, we, we're we're on the cusp of finally being monetized on the other channel that I didn't delete, and um, you know, in order to pursue that and get chance to do you know back to where he is doing what he does best, supporting his family, you know, making a living doing what he loves and creating content for all the fans out there. We can't run the risk of, of having it being attacked, you know, relentlessly. So I think with this agreement in place, um, that's going to afford us the opportunity. I mean, the real deal is there's Rumble, there's Kick, there's Twitch, there's all these, there's Money Twitter. Hacks. Hacks. Um, the yeah. fa fact of the matter is YouTube's the only game in town where it, that counts. And, um, you know, uh, just a, a further point is that I, I have this, this thing going on with um, Shannon Kelly at YouTube right now. You know, that could be something that we could squash as well. Um, I know that you don't want to lose, you know, your your viewership and your channels. Um, right. You know, I'm trying not to throw out just everything know. out there. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. anyway, I got to get back to work. So you guys. Hash out so weird, but so give me just like like 60 seconds. Yeah. It's such an uphill battle when even something that's clearly nonsense with this bullet thing can't even be addressed at face value and honestly like what, what are your thoughts on the bullet well i know you had expressed a concern that that there's this glaring piece of evidence out there that could be brought back to haunt you and right. i know you're concerned about you know somewhere down the line that coming back and biting you in the ass i think the real the, the only solution is to dig that fucker out to show you that it exists or it, and wait, or, it, 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 wait, if we're willing to let bygones be bygones with that bullet in hand, I think Chance would probably be willing to consider destroying the evidence. And, I, it, and it, I would. And I would be willing to, like, I'll tell you this. And right here in front of the both of you and in front of everybody watching, like I said, and like he said, if you're willing to look past all the bad stuff I've done, I'm willing to look past all the bad stuff you've done. All I ask of you is the things that I stated, which is you and your friends leaving me alone. Now, like I said, I understand that you can't control William and N-word boy like that. I get it. But you are good friends with them. And you can at least talk to them and be like, hey, like, you know, back off. He's not doing anything. You know, lay off. You can yeah, at least Marty, talk. Marty, if you're, if you're willing to acknowledge, say, like this latest rash of like like serial and decent exposure if you're allowed if you're willing to like chalk it up to just a uh, like a childish prank well then I yeah think, so there i do have I, an update on that well and I then think, i uh, but, but that i on, think but, it's worth hearing um well get, hang on give me one second sure. if, if you're willing to chalk that up as a prank then i think chance would be willing to dig out that bullet 
and toss it and say that uh, it was a, a, a horrible uh, occurrence that should have never happened. Yeah, and I'm willing to do that. Okay. I am more than I am more than willing to, you know, I'm more than willing to be like, hey, like it was a screwed up event that, you know, never should have happened. And as I said, Nick, like I'm not trying to get into like CIA said, I'm not trying to get into like a nine hour long stream of, you know, this and that and the other. You know, like I said, I've stayed in my peace and what you know what I want to see come of it and what I would expect of you. I just need to know what you expect of me so that I know what to do on my end so that I'm not out here doing something stupid on accident thinking that it's okay when it's actually not and us being back at square one. Okay. Well, I think that the bullet serves as like a great example of either something that really did happen or something that didn't happen before we go further into that. Um, Chance, you remember that officer, uh, Aguirre, I don't know if that name rings a bell. He was the guy yeah. who talked. He was the guy who talked with you about Yoda. Uh, well, he's taking a keen interest in this, and I'm, you know, let's, well, not, let's uh, not go that route. I don't want to go that route either. Right, like I said, and that's why, like, and CIA, I'm sure is wondering too. What is it that you would like to put in this treaty so that we can get the ball rolling? Well, I mean, I think, um, like, showing the bullet and destroying it evidence of you were destroying it is probably number one. Am I right? Am I wrong? I, I'm just spitballing here. Well, like I said, the, 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 the bullet, the specifics, like all that stuff, that's, that's, and I'm not trying to like say it's bad or anything. I'm just saying like, you know, that's basically an irrelevant thing. But what I will say is this, because I already know that my family is not going to let me do that. But what I am willing to do is I am willing to take down all the bad videos of me speaking ill about you. I am more than willing to get rid of those. And they're, all, post. they're all archived. They're all like, there's no getting rid of all of that. Well, like, no, right? but I mean, I mean the ones on my end that I can personally, but, but get it's rid still of. out there. It's still out there. Not entirely. There are some out there that like, there are posts out there that are not out there and archived. Like, well, you the know what? Ones- maybe, maybe a, um, maybe a disclaimer video, like a, a master disclaimer, that um, denounces all of that stuff that's archived out there. Is that yeah. an idea? Is that an idea? Yeah, I'd be one. Yeah, like I'd... everything I said wasn't true. Uh, that Marty wasn't bullying me, and I pushed when I asked for those naked pictures. I pushed him to act the way that he did, and I take responsibility for all of them. Well, no, we're not going to go that route, Nick. We're not doing that. Okay, because like I said, we're not going to be going into specifics. We need to keep it basic, simple, to the point, as I did. Yeah, but so you know, chance, you know, you know, chance. It. One of the things, though, chance that I'm concerned about, and Marty, please don't take offense to this. Okay. We've had we've had a lot of experience with certain people going back on their word, mm-hmm. and I'm trying not to use things. I'm trying not to use words like uh, delusion. Yeah, and all yeah, that. I know. But um, I, t- I tell you what, Nick. Here's think, what I'll do. To, oh wait, to hang on. Show. Hang on. I, I think the specifics are important because that's what's going to protect us in the future from any of this shit coming up again. Otherwise, it could just be said, "Oh, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant." Or that. that right. You know. All right, so, I, I, so I tell you what, Nick. What I can do is, as soon as I hop off here, what I can do is I can do a live video recording on my Twitter account because obviously right now I don't have access to YouTube. But what I can do is I can make a live video. No, you have access. My... To, you have access to YouTube. No, I don't, because the password got changed. Yeah, I, uh, I I did that to secure it. I, all I got to do is. Oh yeah, okay. okay. But what I can do um is as soon as I saw so, and question, am I able to upload yet or what? I don't. Yeah, you know, I don't know how all that shit works. I'll I'll, okay, to, well, I'll give it to okay. you. You could log in and see what the deal is. Okay. Okay. So what I'll do is, if if I'm not able to log into there, just in case, what I will do is I will make a video publicly apologizing for everything that I did wrong. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh, I apologize for this, that, and the other, blah blah blah. blah. But I will say that a lot of the stuff I did was wrong, and a lot of the things that I said to you were very messed up 
and that I am uh, completely false. Not all of it was false because there were some things in there that were true that did I actually agree happen. That some things I've said about you were true too. Right, and you're you're not wrong. There are some things that you've said about you know me being an asshole sometimes. Like that is true. What I can't be said it's false because I can't agree to that because I don't think I've said anything that's false. Well, you actually have, and you and I both know. You and I, you and I both, you and I both know what those things are. But as I said, no, I'm no, so to, like, let's talk about as, it. As as no, we don't need to talk about. Well, it. I can't agree right? to that. Then. Yes, you can. You just don't want to. No, so give me, give me an example. What do you think, CIA? I don't know. I mean, you know how I stand on the specifics. I think the more specific, the better, because then we could hold his feet to the fire if it comes to it. Okay, so the whole thing about me being a pedophile, like you obviously know that that's not true because if I was, I would have been arrested that night. And yes. as the and as and as hang on, let me finish. As the cops and detectives and even the FBI has all said that I am not a pedophile because no real harm was done. If I was one and I was actually out in the real world doing it, like, you know, and I'm not trying to bring anybody else into this, but like certain people whose yeah. names I'm not going to mention. Well, you can bring them up. I, I, like, I'm, I'll, I'll agree. But the thing is with that person is that they took accountability and like they never. And, they, as, they, and as did I. And matter of fact, I'm glad you brought this up because there's a reason why I do not go into specifics about what happened on my end. Because I, and I'm not saying that you'll do this, but there are, I have seen this with other people and I know how some of these trolls operate. Let's say that I did, you know, go into specifics. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's say that I did go into that. They would take that and use that against me. And I'm not willing to go that route of them being like, oh, but, but you admitted to this. You did this. You did that. Like, I don't want to have that extra attention on me. I've already got enough already going on. And I'm not trying to have them, you know, use that against me. Like, oh, but you, you're this. You really are this. You're blah, blah, blah. Like, that would make it even worse than what it already is. But as I said, I do take accountability for the fucked up shit that I've done in the past. I understand what I did was wrong. I understand that a lot of stuff I said and did to you was fucked up. And false. And, I, and some of it was false, Yes. What not was, all, not not all of it, but some of it. Okay. But as I said, I so am willing. To, saying, I am willing. To stop and right listen. Right? Stop okay. and listen. Mm -hmm. I am willing to look past it, and I do apologize for all that. Okay. Now, so is, now is that now is there right, anything so, that is there anything that you would like, or like is there anything that you expect of me to keep the peace? Yeah. So I understand you don't want to implicate yourself. Um, this is simply between me and you, not stuff that you've done, but all I will say is that the things that I've said about you are true. I'm not going to get specifically what, but, and, you know, so like as far as the whole argument that you are um, something, like just because someone hasn't been arrested for it doesn't mean that they aren't that. Like and it was, people have to, let's say O.J. Simpson, for example, you know, like. Listen, listen, let's not go down that route. Let's not get into specifics. Let's keep it on track here. Okay. What what is it that you expect of me? I've already said what I expect of you. What is it that you expect of me to be able to keep the peace? Well, so and again, like there's there's been so much over time, like and I'm I'm caught up. What? Well, I think just, it's fairly just, fine because I know for just, a just yeah. tell me just tell me what it is that you expect of me. I'd like to see a bullet, or to for you to admit that it didn't happen, Nick. I'm talking about what is it that you want to keep the peace? Blame what is what? That's not a part of the treaty, dude. That's not how it works. So, I, Marty, I, are, are you are you concerned, Marty, that you know six months down the line, um, you're going to have a knock on your door and be arrested for attempted murder? Is that is that a legitimate concern? Not as far as people go. Well, like I said, Nick, and I even spoke, and you can even ask CIA this. I told him straight up that whatever your concerns are about you going to jail, you don't have to worry about that. Hmm. I'm not going to do anything to fuck you over. 
Because as I told him, and you can, and he can even verify that I did. The, did I not delete the other YouTube channel? Did I yeah. not leave? Yeah. That right there does verify that I am serious about getting back to my regular life. That right there does show that. And like I said, I'm very serious about this. As long as you and your friends leave me alone, I will not attack you and I will not do anything to disrupt the treaty. All okay. I ask well, is well, that so yeah, you like for me to get a better understanding, like you were talking about like your old life, like to the best of my understanding, your old life was you playing video games, making music, like going on Facebook live and calling people out. And well, I wasn't necessarily calling people out per se. A lot of the times you were, the only reason why I did that is because there were certain people that I was dealing with at that time that kind of deserved it. But, but more or less, you know, like, like, I it said, seems like there's not like, I can't really distinguish between your old life and your new life. If you're doing the same things that you were doing. The difference between my old life was that I didn't have to look good. Like between then and now, the difference between my old life and now is with my old life, I didn't have to look over my shoulder every five seconds. I didn't have to worry about knocks on my door or my family being put in danger or, you know, bricks being thrown through the and through the windshield of my mom's car. Like I didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, I'm always having to worry about this shit. And that's not, not only is that unfair to me, that's unfair to my family. And uh, ultimately that's unfair to everybody that's involved. Like, like I told you many a times, you know, and I'm not trying to attack you. All I am saying is it didn't need to get as far as it did. Like okay. this could have been ended a long time ago, but as you said, on both sides, we both did fucked up shit, which landed us in the fucked up positions that we both ended up so, in. Yeah, you're, you're more than welcome to talk about some of the fucked up things that I've done, things that you felt were wrong. Like, I'm more than happy to take accountability for it. Give me an example or two. Like I said, Nick, you know what they were. Well, I know. So I would say that it may have not been nice to rent an Airbnb in your town. But at the same time, I was just minding my business and you came over. Well, even you had to admit, Nick, you did kind of egg that on. Well, you invited me. Yeah, but I wasn't meaning it like that. So like, say, it was, it was, out. Well, like, yeah. Was still, out here. Like, yeah, I was still, but like point being, Nick, all I want to do is give back to my regular fucking life. That's all I want to do, man. I'm not, out here, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not out here trying to, you know, screw anybody over. I'm not out here trying to harm anybody. Like CIA said, man, I'm just out here trying to make an, make an honest living for my family without mm -hmm. being attacked. And I genuinely feel like, and like I said, I'm not trying to point a, I'm not trying to point the gun at you or anything like that, but I will. Yeah, say, you actually have pointed a gun. Yeah. Well, well, you know what I mean. Like, I'm not out here trying to, you know, force you to do this and that. But, like, what I am saying is this, is that when you did, because you and I both know that you did do this. when I did you, do what? Like, when you set me up for that whole shit with Mass Troll Mafia. That, oh. that fucked up my life in a very big way that even now, like, I have a lot of trouble trying to restore my reputation that I am trying to restore. And I get it. You know, maybe I shouldn't have fallen for that. I get it. You know, I do get it. But at the same time, though, like, when you set me up for that, that, like, that ruined my life in a major, major way. And that well, right there, and that right there is what started a lot of this. Now, as I said, I yeah, understand. Well, I want to say this. Like, so people people have tried to uh, contact me under the guise of like a child. As soon as I see that they're underage, like I block them immediately. And it doesn't go any further than that. You know right, what I mean? And, and I will say this, that like despite what the evidence said, I genuinely and truthfully did believe that she was of age because that's what she had said to me on the phone call. 
And that's what I had believed the entire time. I did not know that she was going to do the screwed up shit that she did. Matter of fact, do you, matter of fact, do you know who the person was that was in that photo that she sent? No. That was her fucking daughter. No way. Yes, that was her fucking kid. And that's how fucked up in the head she is. Matter of fact, you don't believe me, watch Turtle Boy's videos. There's a lot of videos on Turtle Boy where he's called her the fuck out on her shit. She is not a very liked person on YouTube at all whatsoever. She has done some very fucked up stuff. So isn't her kid like 14 or something like that? Or wasn't she at the time? I don't know. She looked it. I want to say yes, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure. But mm. I will say this, that she has had her kids taken by protective services multiple times for choosing drugs, alcohol, and abusive relationships over her kids. Not once, not twice, not three times, but the last time I checked, it was at least six different times. Yeah, Not, I, don't think, I don't think it was her kid. I, I don't. Oh I don't. yeah, it, uh, oh yeah, that was her kid, and she did verify it. Like she did verify in one of her streams. I forget what stream it was, but there was one a while back where she was talking about it on the side, and she had brought up that that was actually a photo of her kid that she did that to. But point being, that whole situation, like I said, I understand that maybe I shouldn't have fell for it. I get that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like, like when you had her do that to me, that, one, I didn't, you know, like I'll say this, like she yeah. asked, I didn't, I didn't pay her. I didn't put her up to it. She asked, like, I, I was thinking about doing this. Like I was thinking about posing as a child to see if chance will fall for it. And then why you know, did you tell her? No, don't do it. I wanted to see what you would do. Then that right there makes you partly responsible. Who's more responsible, me or you? You, because you're the one that set it up. No, she asked me. Like, it does not matter. Wait a second. So how am I a chance? So she was planning on doing this on her own. She asked me, like, what do you think about this? I'm like, well, I'm curious to see what I'll do. I was hoping that you wouldn't do it, but you did. And as I said, I was in, I was in the wrong for falling for that, and I understand that. But at the same time, you should have been – you know, you should have been smart enough to be like, hey, don't do this. It's not going to end well on either end. Like, you you could have stepped in, but you didn't. And that right there is where your fault was. You could have stepped in and stopped her, but you didn't. Oh, and, as, and, I, and as a result, that fucked my life up. Like, have you ever seen the show The Catcher Predator? Do you think that Chris Hansen's the bad guy? A lot of the times, yes, because... Okay. He's, and he, and here's why I say that. I understand that he's trying to go after bad guys, but he's like he himself is a bad guy. He's actually got caught doing very fucked up shit. And uh -huh. I mean, there. oh yeah, Chris Hansen's gotten busted on several shit. Like what? Like, oh, dude, I'd have to go back and look. Right, there's a bunch of shit that he's done that's fucked. I got to be like, honest with you. He's one of my heroes. <laughs> I think that guy's the well, best. the guy actually owes me a mug. He got caught in like some kind of a like a GoFundMe scam and he took the money and ran. You know, but Wait, like, what? Yeah, so like he had this like GoFundMe Kickstarter thing that he uh you know like you could pledge a certain amount of money and uh like I I, I think it was like 25 bucks or something and I was I was owed a mug and I never got it. However, with that being said, I still think that the people who go places to have sex well, with yeah. kids well, yeah, that, well, yeah, that, that is, is that is was you know? That, that but like, so like even, even though I've been personally right, so wrong, like, I still think so, that like so, uh, so let me ask, yes. right? And like and like yeah. you know, and like you're yeah. saying, I'm not I'm not saying that what these people are doing yeah. is right. I'm not saying that what what they're doing is wrong, and they should be you know busted for that. But mm. there's a difference between doing it in real life and getting tricked by somebody that is of age over the internet. The reason why there's a difference is because I would not and never would go to do that in real life. I don't do that shit. You just want to fantasize about it. No, that's not it. I fell for a trick that I should not have fell for. And I admit that, you know, I fucked up by falling for it. But at the end of the day, when I'm out here trying to do better, I don't think that it's fair that everybody else out there is trying to do this and do that and do this and do that. And basically trying to set me up time and time and time and time and time again just to make me look like a piece of shit because they think that it's funny 
to make someone look like shit. And that's the that's literally another reason right there as to why I left this platform because I've been seeing that go on on so many channels. Like, dude, there are innocent people whose lives are getting ruined because of people doing that shit, and it's not cool. It's I think, very. I think, I think here's I think here's a fair question, <clears throat> and I think it's gonna it, it's be very very telling. Chance, if this young girl reached out to you and she needed help and she just lived like 10 minutes away and you had a car, would you have gone over there to help her? Depends if her family was home. If her family was home and I spoke with her family and confirmed like that it's a real thing, then I probably would see what I can do, but more than likely, let's say, no. Let's say that it was the family she was having problems with, you know? Then I would directly contact the, I would find a way to contact the family and be like, yo, like this okay. is what, this is what your daughter's telling me what's going on Fair like enough. this is what this is what she's telling me and i need to know what's going on because if there is something going on like i'm not trying to get drug into the middle of it but something does need to give yeah like and i will admit that and, you know like i said at the end of the day i have to say alerting the authorities and letting them handle it instead of yeah that's probably, what I, probably what, what i would have done it's probably what i would have done yeah. Right. Well, see, I'm always the kind of person, like, if somebody, you know, like, if I've always been the kind of person that, like, hey, if somebody reaches out to me and says, hey, like, they need help with something, I'll do what I can to help them. And as I said, if and I have done this before. If they are a kid and saying, hey, like, I need help with this and this, my parents are doing this, I've always reached out to the parents and I've been like, hey, what's going on? How many kids like, do you talk to? I don't talk to any, but I have, you know, I have had situations like that in the past where they have tried that like they have tried to ensure that as i said though at the end of the day you know at the end of the day as i said with the whole thing with kate was it wrong for me to fall for it yes but also do you feel that I, i'm more responsible than you are for it in a way yes but also at the same time like i said i do take accountability for me fucking up i mm -hmm. do i get that i screwed up but at the end of the day, like you could have stepped in and said something. I was hoping you wouldn't do it. Then my my question to you is this: If you knew she was going to do that and you knew it wasn't right, why didn't you step in and say something? I was hoping that you do the right thing and say, "I'm sorry, but you're a child. I don't want to talk to you. I, I don't have any reason to communicate with you." And that would well. Been my my question is why? Again, why did you not step in and say something if you knew so she I, was? I was I was hoping that you wouldn't go that route, you know, but. But at the same. At the kind same of an time. odd, kind of a, it was kind of a, I mean, it may be considered odd, but it, I mean, it was a, a test of sorts, I guess. Right. But at the same time, it was like, if you knew this was going on and you knew that it wasn't right, why didn't you step up and be like, hey, this ain't cool. That's, That's what that, that, that would be like, you know, if one of my friends wanted to do that. I would step on and be like, yo, like you probably shouldn't do this. Like, oh, I understand, yeah. I understand if you don't like them, I get it, but I so don't want to sit. I don't want to. And, and I've actually done this. Like, I've left, you know, like a $20 bill out somewhere just to see if somebody would take it. You know, do you think that's wrong? Like, to, to put someone in that position to do the right thing or the wrong thing? I'm, hmm. I can honestly say I'm definitely on the fence about that one. Like, okay. yeah, it is. It One's is wrong. $20 and the other is a child. You know what I mean? Or Right. But at the same time, though, the thing that what people don't understand, though, is that when the phone call went down, she did claim to be 18, even though she does not want to admit it because she does not want to look like shit. And the mm -hmm. reason I know she doesn't want to look like shit is because there's videos, like I said, of Turtle Boy basically calling her the fuck out on her shit. She's the kind of person that says like, oh, I'll beat your ass. I'll beat your ass. I'll get my boys after you. And then five seconds later, Turtle Boy makes a video going up there and asking her like, hey, where's your boys at? I thought you were going to get them after me. She's the, she's a shit starter. And I can honestly say, Nick, for your sake, I do hope that you avoid her because she is not good people. Like, she really is not a good person at all. And I was kind of hoping that, you know, throughout this whole thing, you would have done your research on her and gone after her instead of me. But, unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. 
But at the end of the day, like I said, I fucked up. I made my mistakes. And I get that. Well, you're but still blaming me for them, which I, you know, if you think about it, like. Well, to an, like I said, to an extent, if you're really thinking about it, to a certain extent, you are because you did not, you know, get in the way and tell her, like, hey, you probably shouldn't do this. Like, I understand that you wanted to make it a test. I get that. But there are other ways you could have gone about it that wouldn't have fucked my life up. Because I'm not going to lie, like, that whole thing did make things very, very difficult for me. Like, now, because of all that, I'm always having to look over my shoulder. My family's constantly getting blown up. We're constantly getting death threats. I'm good God, dude. Somebody threw a fucking brick through the windshield of my mom's car, for God's sakes. Mm. Like, that, that's going way too fucking far with it. Way too far. Like, and not only that, but having our car towed, trying to have our car towed several times, you know, just doing all this messed up shit. Like, it's going way too fucking far. And a lot of the truth has been blinded and covered up. And basically, you know, like a lot of the lies are basically now becoming the truth. And the truth is now becoming lies. And that's not the way that it should be. Yeah, another like, problem too is is you, you got to stop having people go over there and like doing whatever they're doing to set their alarm off because they're going to start getting billed for that every time the police have to come out. Right, because right, is right. do what? Has has the alarm been going off? Not lately, but there there was one time where I well I can't remember if it was me or mom that opened the door and it set off a silent alarm for the police to come out. And we didn't know that they were out here until they knocked on the door. And like, we had to explain to them like, Hey, we just got this alarm system. You know, we're, we're not in any danger. We're just trying to set up this alarm system because you obviously, you know, there has been people over here that have tried to steal shit over the years, but like, you know, and point, another thing too, is this, is that the calling the police thing over here, that's got to stop because not only, and CIA agrees with this too, and it, it is true. Not only are you causing havoc for me and my family, but that also wastes their time on stuff that they could actually be doing. Like, I, like instead of being over here, being like, hey, like, is this going on or that going on? And me having to waste their time telling them no, they could be going after actual bad fucking people that, I mean, Good God, just a few, what was it, a couple weeks ago, there was a really nasty shooting down here in Ohio in Akron? Yeah, 24 people. Yeah, exactly. And they could be taking care of stuff like that, but instead they're over here wasting their time over some internet drama. Like, it's stupid. It's a waste of time, and it's honestly a waste of resources. Yeah, and I and saw that. And I saw that post, Marty, too, where you tried to blame that shooting on chance. I mean, everybody well, knew. so that's one thing that I'll that I will own up to. All right, and I'm not going to go the route of saying, "Well, the only reason I did that was because you did this or that or the other." I'll say that that was wrong. You know, I have no problem admitting. Right, and, and and you know, like I said, you know, and I'm not trying to go that route either. But the way that my mind and the way that I operate is mm -hmm. that, like, and I'm not saying this to be an asshole. I'm just saying this. This is how I am as a person. And I think everybody with a half a brain can agree with this, is that if you treat me like a person and treat me like a human being, mm -hmm. everything everything's fine. But the minute you start doing shit and treating me like shit, I'm going to do the exact same thing to you. At the end of the day, you treat me like a human, we're good. You treat me like shit, I'm going to treat you like shit. I mean, yeah, it's, so, it's so your family tripped the alarm, and that's my fault, I guess. Like, that's no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it was your fault. I'm not it's saying it's also that at all. It's, hap it's happened a few times. It's just it's just suspicious. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, it yes. does. Is so. Um, like, I'm sorry, I know. Yeah, I know. The only, I, the, only yeah. the only time that uh, that I know. Of, well, and obviously, there's been more than times than that. But like I said. The one time was our fault because, like I said, we were getting it set up and didn't know how to operate the damn thing, which same way we do now. But the other few times, it does seem kind of sus. But as I said, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to move on with my life. And like, and like I said, you know, and I understand where you're coming from when you ask, like, 
oh, what kind of life did you have before this? Well, I didn't have to look over my shoulders. I didn't have to deal with depression. I didn't have to worry about. Yeah, you did deal with depression before. Right? Not, as, not as bad. Okay. Like it wasn't as bad as it is now. Like I didn't have to worry about, you know, whenever a car drives slow by our house, I didn't have to worry about whether they're going to roll the window down and pull a trigger on me. I didn't have to worry about cops showing up on my doorstep every, almost every other week at all hours of the night. I didn't have to worry about, there was a lot of things I didn't have to worry about. I was able to be normal. I was able to hang out with friends. Like now I can't even go down to the lake and go for a walk without the risk of somebody potentially seeing that I'm down there. Well, and, well on. like to be fair, like I remember hearing sto- like there's some police reports like about that guy who shoved you in the stop sign. Um, there was the guy like who took your, who asked you for lunch money in high school. Like, so you have been getting, hold, fact- hold on, hold on. I, I know the dude about, I know here talking about that Andrew dude with the stop sign yeah. and that the only reason why they couldn't do anything to him. And I know this sounds stupid, but this is legitimately what they said. And mm-hmm. they actually said this. The only reason why they cannot do anything is because he would not admit to it. That's the only reason why nothing could get done. But dude, dude, stealing lunch money from me. What I've never heard anything about that. I remember, I remember reading a story. Like I think his name was like, oh man, uh, DeAndre something. Like you know, and like you're walking up the stairs, like and he kicked you in the shins or something like that. Oh, oh, you're talking about. I know exactly what situation you're talking about. All right, so there was. I know. See, I I don't know if you know this one or not, but there was a time where. I was going up a set of stairs to go to class and this kid decided that it would be funny as I was hanging on to the rail to trip me on the stairs. And when he got me on the ground, he yanked my leg through the stair railing and fucking slammed my leg up against the railing as hard as he could. So dick. not, so not only, not only were, not only were my nuts hurting, but my fucking leg was hurting too. And then the principal, the principal did end up calling the police. I don't know. I honestly don't know whatever came of that. Honestly, all I know is that they had sent me home for the day because they could see I was clearly fucked up. So mm-hmm. they had sent me home for the day, but I don't know whatever came of that, dude. I don't know if he got suspended, arrested, charged. I don't know. All I know is that my leg was fucked up. My balls were sore as fuck. And I was sleeping for the next couple of days. Not going to lie. I was not feeling too good. I remember there's a story where like somebody put you in a trash can or something and like rolled you on a hill or you're on a skateboard and they pushed you down a hill or something like that was, uh, yeah, that, that, yeah that was that Andrew dude. Uh, his, his younger brother thought that it'd be funny to push me down a hill while I was like, and I know you've been down here enough times, Nick. So I'm sure yeah. you know. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. That big S Bend uh, yeah. hill right there, over there by the center. Yeah. I was standing up there on my skateboard because I was I was out skating that day, having fun. I had stopped up there to just enjoy the view of the lake or whatever. He, mm-hmm. his little brother, comes up. Thought that it'd be funny to push me down the hill, and so like, and I've I've you know I've gone down that hill many times, so I wasn't you know unfamiliar with it. But when he pushed me, I went down the hill. I was like, okay, I'm going down the hill. Like, I always do, no problem. Well, little did I know that one of my trucks on my skateboard would come loose, would go flying one way. I went flying forward and completely fucked up my arm. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, I was actually supposed to work at, uh, what was it? It was like one of the really famous um, haunted attractions here in Ohio. I was supposed to do that that year. But as a result of my injury, I mean, my arm being fucked up, I unfortunately had to pass on it. And that pissed me off because I would have been making a hundred bucks an hour doing that. hundred an hour? Mm, because it was like one of the bigger, it was one of the bigger, more well-known attractions. They had actually had a bunch of guys that worked in the horror film industry there for like, you know, doing makeup, props uh setups like they had a whole thing going i don't know if they shut that down entirely because of the whole covid shit i don't know if they're still open but as a result of that i wasn't able to work that year which fucking sucked oh did you do it other years 
I wasn't able to because by yeah. the next year, I had found out that I guess some legal shit went down mm. with one of their employees and it forced them out that year because they decided they wanted to be a little stickler about having their phone out at work and you're not allowed to have your phone out while you're doing your job, obviously. Like, they wanted to make a whole fucking thing about it. And then uh, my friend that got me linked up with that basically said, like, hey, because of the legal issues, they're not doing it this year because this person wants to take it to court and be a bitch about it, which was kind of stupid. But, you know, I don't know if they're still doing it or not. Because that was like right before, that was like literally like a couple of years, actually no, it was like a year. Yeah, actually a year right before COVID had happened. So I don't know if they're still doing that. I don't know. All I know is that I was excited to work that year to do something I actually enjoyed and scaring the fuck yeah, out of people. I'm just saying like as far as like looking over your shoulder, it seems like you, you got beaten up a lot more back then than you do now. It's not that I got beat up a lot more back then, but like the stuff as it pertains to right now is definitely way more dangerous. Like it definitely is way more dangerous because now. Well, I mean, like I'd say, like a black guy, like you know, kicking you in the leg in, in high school, and like calling you. All right, so let me, so let me ask you this: Which one's worse, getting that and you know going through that shit and getting over that, or having to worry about? every car that drives by potentially being someone that you don't want to tangle with. If you ask me, I'd say, I'd say the car is a little bit more dangerous because a dude with a gun in a car, they could blast you and drive hey, off. So you, never, you were never shot at though. I'm not saying I was, but there's always that chance. There's mm -hmm. always that chance of that happening. Well, sure. I suppose. Like, um, it's, especially given how, and I don't know if you know this or not, but as a result of like everything that's gone on, there are several trolls that have actually rolled up looking for me and have drove by my house and have posted videos talking about, oh, I drove by your house. Where are you at? Like yeah, there's a gotten, lot. Gotten, it's gotten so bad that like just the other day they had people driving by and poor Ed. You know, now he's got video evidence and the cops come and they tell him he's just being paranoid. And mm -hmm. poor Ed had, you know, has a heart attack over the whole thing because he just wants it to stop. Yeah, so I think, I think we've already just like squashed one of the things off the list, like admitting that you never got shot at. So like we can, that's, that's, that's progress as far as I'm concerned. Well, as I said, like, I'm just trying to put a stop to this so I can get back to my normal life because I'm not going to lie, dude. Losing, like, I'm not going to lie, dude. Losing my best friend of 17 years over all this stupid shit. Is that the same? No, no, no. My best friend, Jake, the one that I used to talk to all the time, yeah. me, and him, me and him no longer talk. And he, I, dude, that was my best friend of 17 years. That was somebody that was basically like my little brother. Well, Marty, and now, maybe as a gesture of good faith, you could reach out to Jake and tell him that you were responsible for all that bullshit. I doubt I doubt they would answer because his dad is around the, and and I'm not saying this to you, Marty, I'm, but to, and I don't know if he is watching or not. But to Jake, you know I love you to death, man. To your dad, you know I love your dad to death. But to Jake's dad, Vernon, not trying to set you off or anything, man. But you do know that you can be a bit of an asshole sometimes. Not trying to piss you off, but just saying you can be a bit of an asshole. But regardless of that. Still love you to bits. Huh. So, Just Sarah, asks, what is the first memory you have of being bullied slash harassed, like as a young child? God, that would be earliest memory for me would have to be probably. The, the doctor smacking you on the ass when you were born doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, that definitely don't count. That dude, that's every doctor period on the face of the fucking earth. Maybe you should have been a doctor then. Oh God, no, are you kidding me? I can never do that shit. I love horror movies, but I can never do gore, blood. I, I could not, I couldn't do that shit. Sure. I don't, I don't do blood and guts and gore. Thank you. Anyways, like I can handle horror movies, but when it comes to like actually seeing that shit in real life, fuck that. I'm dipping out. 
I'm gone. But like the earliest memory for me was I forget what grade it was, but there was a kid named Chris that had literally he was like twice my size. And I was I must have been at least maybe six, seven, maybe eight or nine at the time, I think. And mm-hmm. for some reason he just hated me and he ended up like he pushed me around here and there, did what all kids do. But then just one day he decided to snap and ended up punching me and ended up giving me a black eye. That was like literally my first taste of bullying that I can remember. And then, you know, from there growing up, you know, I got like any normal kid would do, you know, shoved in lockers, fucking, you know, the the typical shit. But like, I'm not going to lie, that compared to the last seven years, I will take that school shit over this stuff any day of the week. Hmm. Like, I I will gladly take dealing with some fucking high school asshole that's a complete douchebag that I know I could fucking drop like a rock. I'll take that over having to worry about being shot at or this or that and the other any day of the week. You know, a lot of of time in school, kids kids will get bullied and then that kid himself ends up kind of turning and becoming a bully himself. Did you ever get engaged in any like, like revenge, oh, no. like revenge bullying or anything? Oh no, no, I don't. I've never been one to engage in revenge bullying. I've never been about that shit. Well, yeah. Is it fair to say then like the, the, this has been like your entire life. Like people having problems with you and picking on you. And to an extent, but it's always yeah. been, it's always been because, you know, and I'm not like I'm not saying this in a bad way, but it's always been because I've always been smaller. I've always been different. I've always been that outcast kid that, you know, we've all got that one person in school that's an outcast kid that everybody fucks with. That was me. I mm-hmm. was that kid. Like even in high school, dude, like while everybody else was, you know, off worrying about like, you know, oh, I'm going to wear this. I'm going to do that. I was that kid in fucking school that was sitting there drawing on the back of his fucking classwork. I was that kid that was sitting there reading manga in the fucking library and watching anime on YouTube while everybody else was fucking hanging out with the jocks or hanging out with the basketball team. My ass was either up in the library reading reading manga, watching anime on YouTube, or in the fucking music room hanging out with my friends. Like that was that's where those were my two spots was either the library or the music room with my friends where you know their bands like where their bands and all them would practice that and have fun at like those were my two spots. I never got into the and I know it sounds bad. As a kid, I was the preppy kid. As a kid growing up, I was that preppy kid. And then when I got into high school, I immediately like I was automatically that outcast kid that that everybody like completely screwed with for just yeah. So like like I don't know. Like it seems like historically, like almost everyone has had like a problem with you. Is it possible? And, and I don't know. Like like I said, the reason why they had a problem with me back then is because, like I said, I was always the different kid. I was mm-hmm. always that. Like, it's because they see, and and this is with anybody, dude. Anybody sees somebody like me, they're automatically going to think, oh, that dude's an easy (coughs) target. That dude's a target that we can fuck with. And that was their mindset back then, is, oh, he's an easy target. We can fuck with him. And then, like, you know, once, you know, it got around, like, you know, to these last few years, like, everything that went down, and, you know, me being, and I'm not saying this to attack you, but me being pushed around, I finally had enough. And I basically said, you know what? Instead of being quiet, I'm going to start fucking fighting back like I should have been doing this whole time. So, like, the bullying started in, in school. Like, as, as early as you can remember. Okay, okay. Hang on. How did we get to this point? Like, I thought we were talking about the shit that that needs to be put in the thing. How did we get okay, to so this we've point? Down, we've gotten down one bullet point that there was no shooting. And, and like, that's, that's a, it's a good first at, step. At, at, at least not yet, anyway. I'm not saying that there's going to be, but with these people, you never fucking know, dude. Because I'm not going to lie, dude. Like, you might not realize it, but there's a lot of people that do shit in your name. 
Like they, a lot of them will do stuff without you knowing about it. Like there will be people that show up here and then defending you. And like, it's it, not going to lie, dude. Like you got a lot of people that, that are following you that are just, they're psychotic and they're not good people. Is it possible that, that they just don't like you independently of me? I, it's, it's possible, but like I said, I don't know. Okay, so look, hmm. But like, okay, so I'm right. ask a question. I'm trying to know what normally want to go back to before being bullied. So I'm getting like five or six years old. Yeah, what's that? So I'm just wondering what normally want to go back to before being bullied. The normal I want to go back to is like CIA said, being able to do what I was doing, you know, back when I was working on my music, back when I was able to live stream, back when I was basically able to do stuff and not have to worry about being attacked, being stolen from, and just basically being treated like shit. Mm -hmm. Like that's the normal that like, dude, and no joke, and CIA has seen the photos. I've showed them the photos. Matter of fact, Saren's even seen the photos. If you look at the photos from, you know, of me on my old face, on my original Facebook from before I got attacked compared to now, physically wise, like you can see a major difference because of all the yeah, stress. There's some, I mean, there's some, there's some pictures. He looks like he's aged 30 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, some, and, in some of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're not wrong, dude. And some of them I do like. There's one dude the other day that yeah, like if your past life is being bullied though, and you want to go back to how things were, then like you're saying basically that you want to be bullied, right? No, like, no. I'm not saying I want to be. Oh my god. What I'm saying is that I want to be able to do stuff that I used to do without being attacked. Well, you do the stuff that you used to do, but not without being attacked or stolen from, or ripped off from, or falsely reported for. Hmm. Like, like, say, like, for a prime example, let's say that I went on just for prime example. I'm not saying I'm going to, but hmm. let's say that I made a brand new Twitch today and I went over there to start over new and show people that, like, hey, I'm not this evil piece of shit that everybody's making me out to be. I'm not this rage filled ball of hate. And that I'm actually a chill person and I'm not about that shit. Guarantee within minutes, you know, somebody will end up reporting it for false stuff. Like they'll say like, oh, he's ban evading when I'm not ban evading. You did get banned though. You did get banned, right? Well, that's the thing though. I'm not necessarily ban evading. That That's their excuse. That's their label. Well, if you got banned and you returned to the platform, then you're trying to evade the ban like it's the well that's the thing though ban evading that's the thing people don't realize that ban evading is not a real thing that's just their mm -hmm. label that they stick on it to get away with you know getting someone banned that they don't necessarily like well i mean so like a ban is supposed to be permanent right not not necessarily well according to well that's that's they say that it is that like well ban is supposed to be permanent like Dina, and i'm not Dina, saying it's right or wrong Dina. Well, do you know how many people that get banned on Twitch that are allowed to start over on a new account and they don't get fucked with? It's actually a lot more common than you think. It really is. But the mm -hmm. fact that people are being allowed to be like, oh, he's ban evading. We, we don't like him, so we're going to get him for ban evading. When I'm not ban evading, I'm simply trying to start over on my life. And show that, like, I'm not about this dumb shit, that I do take what I do seriously, and that I do care about my people, and that I do have fans that want to see me do good. Like, you can ask CIO just the other day, I was showing him a bunch of fucking messages from, like, what? At least, how many did I count, dude? Like, six, seven, eight different people that were asking about, like, when am I going to be streaming again? When am I going to be releasing new music and this and that and the other? And I have to tell those people, unfortunately, I don't know. And, and I'm not saying that you had anything to do with it, but it's because of people like Edward Boy and William that fucked me over so badly with a lot of my songs that I'm not able to really do anything because I know the minute I go to release anything, they're going to try to fuck me over. Like, like yo, CIA. How many times have you counted 
on a stream when I'm doing a cover show or I'm hanging out. Like, how many times have you seen people asking for me to play their favorite song, Street Racing Scene, and I have to tell them that, unfortunately, because of the whole copyright bullshit, even though we know it's all bullshit, that I'm not able to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Tony Gunk just said at least 20. Yeah. Well, like, like, they're, they're, like so, um, for example, like, Band of Agent, like, you can say that it's not real, but, like, the, the letter of the law is that if you get permanently banned... But that's uh, the thing, though. I was that's the thing, though. I was never permanently banned. That whole thing of me being permanently banned, that's literally just the people that are saying that, like, you know, Edward Boy and William and all them, like, that's them trying to keep control over me. That's how they try to manipulate. That's how they try to control because mm -hmm. that's what they want. It's, it's all a power trip. It's all just one big power trip for them. That's mm -hmm. what it's really about is they want control. They want to be able to judge what I do. They want to see me suffer. They don't want to see me do good. When CIA, how many times have I told sat there and told you? And how many times have you heard me tell my mom like that I want to get away from this shit and show these people that I can do better? Hang on. Let me look at my notes. Oh, my God. <laughs> So yeah, do you, at, do at least three. That, at least three. I'm, I'm being sarcastic. That, yeah, like, a lot. A lot. <laughs> right. So at, at the end of the day, dude, all I'm trying to do is get my life back to normal and show people that I'm not this evil piece of shit that I've been made out to be. I understand that I fucked up. I understand that I've done a lot of bad shit and maybe shouldn't have acted the way that I did. But at the same time, when you're drugged into a situation that you've never dealt with and you got people attacking you from all sides every fucking day. Like, how are you supposed to react to that? Like, like it, that's the literal. And I know I've said this a million times, but it's literally the best comparison out there. That's like handing a fucking kid a gun and telling him to go shoot the bad guys and not telling him who the bad guy is. That kid's not going to know who the bad guy is for all you know to him. You could be the bad guy, and you'll end up either dead or fucking leaking blood from a damn bullet hole because mm. you didn't because you didn't tell him, hey, this is the bad guy. And over the years, I've had people pretending to be my friend, stabbing me in the back, you know, and then they turn around and make me look like a piece of shit for them shitting on, like you know, they shit on me. I respond, and then all of a sudden. I'm the bad guy. Everything I've done and the ways I have acted, yeah, they may have been wrong, yeah. but it was because of how people treated me. So they I want to ask you something. Like, and, and I don't know how you're going to feel about this, um, but like, at any point, do you do you ask yourself? And this might be like a tough question to ask, but maybe it's not everyone else that's the problem, but maybe there's a part of you that's the problem. And that's the thing, though, and and you know, and I have asked myself that believe it or not. And yeah, I understand that me not responding is the best thing. But well, like I'm I said, not saying that I'm saying like, you know, with the, quote that's unquote, the thing though. That's the, the thing stuff. though. That's the thing though. I'm not the bad guy. I'm really not like, I'm literally just a regular dude trying to make a fucking living. But as I said, when you got so many people attacking you, and making up shit about you that isn't true. Like, I'm not going to lie, dude. There's a lot of shit that is made up about me on the internet. I'm not going to lie. I've seen I've seen some pretty wild shit in Reddit posts and Tumblr posts. Like, I've seen all kinds of shit mm -hmm. that's just complete garbage. But it's like, when you have all that happening, how are you supposed to live your life? How are you supposed to live a normal life? You're okay, not. So like, like you're, you're not supposed to live a normal life. Like, you're, you're not going to be able to. Like so, have I have I been caught in any sort of like child scandals? Honestly, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure that if I had, you'd be aware of it, right? Honestly, there's like I'm not I'm not saying this to attack you. I'm not saying that that is true or not. But from my understanding, like, and I'm not saying you have it, but I. I'm just speaking from an outsider perspective and from my point of view, you've done so much stuff that I don't know what's true and what's not. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure that would be like a talked about thing. Like, have you ever seen me like threaten any children or even like talk to any children? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what you know. Honestly, dude, I'm going to say this. I don't know what you do when the cameras aren't on. And yeah. I'm not I'm not saying that to attack you. I'm just saying, like, just like people think they know what I do when the cameras aren't on. I don't know what you do when, you know, cameras aren't on. I'm just like, you know, I don't know what CIA hole does with his family or whatever when the cameras aren't on. I don't know. And I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm not saying that you're a bad guy at all, dude. I'm just, you know, putting that out there as an example. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, the answer the answer is no, right? Like, there's no evidence that I've threatened kids, that I talk to kids, that I've much less... Right, and, and, and as for that whole fucking moderator thing, like, I know a lot of people like to hold that over my head. But, dude, I will say this. Nothing sexual was said to that person. Why do you talk to kids? Like, like, what is it? I don't listen. That whole thing with them being a moderator, like that wasn't me trying to get to them. They came into my stream. They just happened to hang out for about a month or so and be really chill. And so they were like, Hey, like, can I mod for you? I told them, yeah, nothing sexual was going on. Nothing bad was said. It's just, people have this notion of, they have this stereotypical way of like, oh, if, you, if you're an adult streamer, you shouldn't have, you know, kids. It don't matter how old they are. They shouldn't be modding for you. Motherfucker, do you know how many fucking major YouTubers have kids as moderators that actually do a really good fucking job? It's a lot more common than you fucking think. It really is. And, well, for, and for me, I was trying to break that stereotype of being like, hey. This dude's a kid. They're not. They're not bad people. Nothing sexual going on. They're just a mod. That's it. At the end of the day, that's all they were. But people still want to hold that against me for whatever reason. But at the end of the day, Nick, we're we're getting off track here. Let's, yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Let, I don't know. How, uh, you, sure. I just. What What's the next bullet point that you wanted to bring up, real quick? Well, um, I would like you to apologize to Saren for threatening to like. Oh I've, already, I've already, oh, I've already, I've already talked to her. And oh. I've already, oh, I've already talked to her about that, dude. And I've already apologized to her for that shit several times. Mm. So I like, mean, her like we're good, like we're cool, we're good. Okay, well that's 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 very uh, very big, yeah. Um, I'm hoping that uh, you know, and I'm I'm going to stop this, but I hope you can forgive me for speaking with officer Aguirre, like the Yoda cop about the whole indecent exposure thing, you know, like it's, um, and, so, like, and yeah. like, like, like CIA said, if, you know, if you're willing to chalk it up as nothing, I'm willing to look past it. Well, so yeah, it's funny you say that, like I get your channel struck down, but like, you got, you gave me a strike for whipping your penis out. Well, you know? watch, I'll, I'll, to be fair, when your channel got struck, not the time that I struck it, but mm. the time after that, that one, that was not me. That was actually somebody else. I don't know who it was, but that was somebody else that struck it. That wasn't me or that wasn't me or CIA. I don't know who it was. Well, I mean, surely you can admit that like whipping your penis out and then me getting a strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, like, and like I said, you know, and I, I do admit that was wrong of me to do. Mm. That was. And like I said, I'm not out here trying to. So you admit it that you weren't showing your foot? No, there, no, there was a point where I was showing my foot. There was, and everybody, matter of fact, CIA, didn't you see me raise my foot up at that one point? I did. I saw something else too, but I saw the foot for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but point being, at the end of the day, you know, it was wrong, mm. and like, and like I said, I'm willing to look past it. You know what, Marty? Yeah. The thing, the thing that that we didn't realize was that it's an actual crime in the state of Ohio. And six that, brings up, that brings up a big concern because there's a six, a six year statute six of limitations on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for, for you to whip that out and keep playing that card is it, it just not something that would be cool. Well, there is a concept in a negotiation known as leverage. And I think it's a pretty strong card. Well, point point being, like I said, Nick, if you're willing to look past all that, so am I. I'm willing to admit that I was wrong in what I did. I shouldn't have done it. 
whether whether I knew it was wrong or not, at the end of the day, it was a lapse in judgment that I am that I do apologize for. And not yeah. just a little and, and like, Mar and and Marty, you, you, yeah. you you posting that he's a, a serial flasher and uh, a sexual deviant that you know historically continuously commits indecent exposure, that doesn't really help either. You know what I mean? And like okay. I said, like I said, Nick, at the end of the day, if you're willing to, you know, blow all this off and look past it and let me go my separate ways, I'm willing to chalk it up and look the other way as well. You know what? I'm on the, hmm. Do you agree in uh, fate? Do what? Do you agree in like fate? To an extent, yeah. What do you say you flip a coin, best two out of three? No, we don't need any coin flipping. I need to have your word that nothing will come of any of this. Because, Nick, I gave you my word that I'm going to leave you alone, and I told you in good faith that I would take down those posts. Are you and a sales guy? CIA, what do we do here, man? I'm sorry, I'm working at the same time. I didn't hear what ha I didn't hear what was said. He is trying to pull some slick shit. What? What did he? Uh, well, do you believe in fate, CIA? Believe in what? In fate. fate. In what respect? Well, you know, there has been a lot of wrong on both sides. I know what I ultimately want, but I know that's not going to happen. I do. Well, I know that. Like I know the key, the, the key to, to keep, the key to any to any successful ne successful negotiation is neither party leaves feeling they got a hundred percent of what they want. With that being said, I, I I don't know where else to take it. Hmm. Marty, as I said, I'm willing to look past everything. And make peace and go on with my life if you're willing to do the same. I told you exactly what I'm willing to do and I'm going to stick to my word. But I need to know that you're not going to try to pull anything. Hmm. All right, guys, I got I got a bail. I got shit going on over here. Hold on, see I see I can you can you Let's go one you, more moment here? I'll let you call it. Best two out of three. Marty, stop this shit. It doesn't have to go down this way, man. I came here to set up a peace treaty. That's what I came here to do. I didn't come here to flip heads or tails or get police involved. I came here to squash things with you so I can move on with my life. So would you put the coin away? Yeah, and the chance agrees not to get the police on your ass, too. And I did. I straight out told CIA that I will not call the police on you. I straight out told him that. Matter of fact, you want to know how serious I am? I actually sat there and I deleted every bit of fucking evidence that I have against you off of my computer. But there's so much out there, Chance. Like, I would need a long, lengthy denouncing. And, and even then, it won't take up all the slander. Is there any way that you could make a live stream addressing uh, everything, taking full responsibility for everything. Like this kid thing, for example, you know, I, I don't, I didn't make you, I didn't make you do that. Like it was a situation that you found yourself and, in. Right. And you're not wrong, but at the same time, I, I do kind of you blame me for that. Like, cause I didn't stop. Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that I fully blame you, but I do feel like you could have stepped in. I do really feel like you could have stepped in. And then like, hey, you shouldn't do this. So like I said, I'm not fully blaming you. I'm not. I'm just saying like this is what you could have done to prevent that, knowing how screwed up it is. Like Marty, that report that report that you got from uh, the authorities for the indecent exposure report that you yeah. said, all you got to do is send it. What do we have to do to make that go away? Well, I know what he's not going to do. 
Well, yeah, that's because I'm not medically cleared, dude, man. You know yeah, that. Got, then, I, then you know what, Chance? I got something that doesn't involve dancing. I have like an AI song contest later. Um, I know your okay. music. I know you have a music background. Would you be willing to, to help judge it later? And, and, and like, uh, as, as long as long as it's not anything fucked up, yeah. Okay. Like well, as long as long as it's not like a song about me or anything like that, you know, and like it's like a regular song. Yeah, I'm more than willing to. Well, I think, it, I think it would be fair that if they were, if, if people would do maybe songs about Marty and Chance, I mean, as long as it's even. Yeah, like yeah, I, I, that's, I a, that's a fair point. That's fair. Yeah. And, and, you know, like you've dropped disses on me. You know, if anything, I made like a, a positive song towards you, maybe uncomfortably so. Um, yeah, but, not going to lie. That one was kind of weird. I just kind of like, I just kind of like open up my, 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 my my mouth and my my heart to a degree, and you know. Um, in other words, in other words, you let your asshole fill your mouth. <laughs> hmm, it's not, I like that you put it like that. You don't want to talk about assholes around him. It might get him a little horned up. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. So yeah, Marty, his actions and choices he makes are your fault because you didn't stop something you don't control. I guess that's the logic that we're going with here. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that like. He knowingly could have stepped in, like knowing the situation, he could have stepped in to prevent it, but chose not to. I'm not saying he's entirely at fault, but he is responsible for not stepping in when he could have. Yeah, you could no. have done like like Marty. You could have done like what I do, and it's like, hey, buddy, I think you're getting, uh, I think you're getting set up here, pal. You better, mm -hmm. you know, you could have done that. Or, or you, like I said, you could have told her like, hey, we shouldn't be doing this. This is wrong. This is messed up because like, and I'm not trying to bring up anybody, but from the past or anything, but dude, and a prime example of this, and I know I've written this up a lot, but look at what happened with the inquisitor from TikTok. He got set up the exact same way. And he unfortunately ended up taking his life. And those kids that did that to him ended up getting charged. Like they actually ended up getting arrested and severely, severely charged with i'm not sure what they got busted with but i do know they got charged and as a result he ended up taking his life because of what they did to him and like that's not fair to him. that's definitely not fair to his friends his family that wasn't fair to to you know the people that you know watched him but mm -hmm. and and that's what i'm saying like matter of fact at one point during that documentary uh, from what I watched, the the chick that tried to set him up, her boyfriend, like her actual boyfriend, tried telling her, like, "Hey, look, we shouldn't be doing this. This isn't right." But yet she chose to do it anyway. Yeah. And you 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 could have been that person to be like, "Hey, you shouldn't do this. It's not." Right. Cool. I think if it's going to get me off this call, I think that a good suggestion yeah. is to, to do this. Yeah, like, this, yeah, uh, I'd, I'd be this. I'd be willing to I'd be willing to do a song contest, Judge. Yeah, retard okay. idol, uh, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. seven thirty your time suitable. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll see you there. So, do we have an agreement on everything that's going down? Yes. Yeah, I, think, I think we made yes. some pretty. I, I think we made in, some. I will not send the report with with the stream keys, uh, and all the evidence of you whipping it out, and that's binding. But um, you have to see this song competition. Throughout, and you know, just give your thoughts on the songs, and it'll be like an hour and a half. And but then I'm, then I'm done. You know what I mean? I can focus on on. I make, like I make a little bit of music too. I don't know if you've heard any of it, but uh, I think it's decent. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe Chance and I'll I'll uh, whip up a couple AIs. Yeah, I sure. can definitely I can definitely do yeah. some stuff. Yeah. Okay. And do you think? Yeah, it'd I, be, think uh, maybe, I think maybe I think this is good progress. We're on our way to a resolution. I can feel it. Yeah. Okay, well, then, then I'm excited for it. All right. Well, later, gentlemen. I'll see you at 7.30 your time. Yeah, mm -hmm. eat rocks. Eat rocks. All right. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. All right. Later.